All right, the topic is, it doesn't matter if you are a good or a bad person, evil will always try to fight its way into your life, all right? And it starts with the little things. You have a decision to make, you make the wrong decision, but the bad decision, knowing that what you are doing is wrong, when you had the other option of doing the right thing, you do the wrong thing. That's how evil starts. And then from there, one day after the other, a little bit farther from there, you find yourself doing things that you will never imagine you could have done. All right. So here we are. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. Let me know what you think about it. I'll let you know what I think about it. Please, let's help each other. I also have a report that explains a little bit more um, what's happening here, a little bit more of a context. So let's go ahead and um, watch this. A few weeks ago, I discovered a uh, portrait of a, a painting, excuse me, uh, depicting uh, George Floyd as Jesus Christ hung up in our law school. I'm an undergraduate student, so I don't spend much time in the law school, and I just happened to stumble upon it uh, when I was passing through on the way to classes. Uh, I had never seen it there before. I did some research into it, and it had been installed in March, uh, and I was shocked. I was surprised. Uh, Jesus has been depicted as many different races, but Jesus is always depicted as nothing but Jesus, the sinless son of Almighty God. Uh, there has never, to my knowledge, been uh, any serious, respected Catholic theologian um, or uh, idol maker, or icon maker, excuse me, um, who has depicted Jesus Christ as another human being. And that's exactly what this is. It's a direct replica of the Pieta, which is a, a sculpture by Michelangelo that depicts uh, the Virgin Mother Mary holding Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and that's what it is. And that's what it's mocking. The Reception to this has been universally negative. I haven't found anybody who's been able to give a serious theological justification for this kind of uh, heretical, blasphemous idolatry. Um, and I, I don't think that I've found anyone who's able to do that because you can't. Uh, there really isn't an argument in favor of this. The only reaction that I've seen from the university has been comment from a handful of uh, individuals um, who didn't really answer any of the criticisms or concerns that students had, but instead tried to make it seem as if the individual depicted in the painting was Jesus Christ and not George Floyd. Uh, that doesn't stand up to even the the most uh, the smallest amount of scrutiny. Uh, the artist of the icon, if you can even call it that, has uh, admitted publicly multiple times that the painting depicts George Floyd. There's a fine line between recognizing the innate dignity and righteousness of human beings that are made in the image of God and embracing brazen progressive politics. And that's what's happening here. It's hard to imagine that progressive politics could come to a place like, not that they could come to a place like Catholic University, of course they're welcome, all views are welcome, but it's hard to imagine that progressive politics could be fully embraced by university faculty and staff and administrators at the Catholic University of America. All right, that's the whole video. I want to say, I want to start by saying, I want to start by saying I am Catholic. My mother is Catholic. My father is Catholic. I was raised a Catholic, right? But this right here, it's amazing. Do you know who Jesus, Jesus is? Do you know who George Floyd was? Okay. How? How is that possible? All right. How is that possible? Jesus died on the cross for my sin, for your sin, because he was perfect. You know what George Floyd was? I'm, I'm going to try to stay, you know, to be respectful because the man is dead. And I will never wish, I will never wish to anybody. I will never wish to anybody to, to, to die the way George Floyd died. But this right here is a no-no. This is wrong. And like the kid here said, the only reason this was... This happened was because the faculty, some student and whatever, they all they all use their leftist ideology, the whole woke ideology, and they put that into religion. That's how we end up with something like this, right? This is crazy. We have a report on it. Let's go ahead and read the report. A Catholic university celebrate painting of George Floyd as Jesus Christ release report on racism. I don't know what to say. Are you serious? 
So let's go ahead and read it. So a painting depicting George Floyd as Jesus Christ hanging both the Catholic University of America campus ministry office and its law school, the Daily Signal has learned. Catholic University appeared to shrug off responsibility for the painting Monday, telling the Daily Signal that artist Kelly Latimer's painting Mama depict the Virgin Mary supporting the body of the dead Christ. <laughs> really? This is Jesus with a fade and everything, <laughs> with the beard. All Come on, bro. So anyway... They said the dead Christ, although the artist has indicated repeatedly that his painting depicts both Floyd and Jesus. I also want to say something. The kid at the beginning in the video, thank you for um, Fox News for that video. The kid, or I shouldn't say the kid, but the, um, the student there, he saw something wrong and he, he, raised, he raised his voice. He said something about it. That's what you're supposed to do. If you see something that is wrong, Say something about it. Bring a conversation so people can actually explain themselves. And he said, he looked into it, he's been asking around, and nobody can give him an explanation. Right? People just, mm, whatever. The thing is, people are just scared. People are scared that if they decide to remove it, CNN will come, MSNBC will come, ABC, whatever, they'll come, and they'll call you racist. And you might end up losing your job. You know, they'll try to, Put you off, cam put the camera on you, um, show who you are, go into your emails and you know your social media. That's how it is now in this country. The left they fight dirty. So anyway, so um, although the artist had indicated repeatedly that his painting depicts both Floyd and Jesus, you can identify Jesus by the mark in the halo," said Kana Lozoya, vice president for University Communication. Lozoya will not further address the matter with the Daily Signal. The icon has no place at the Catholic University of America. Duh. It is blasphemous and an offense to the Catholic faith, which is true. But it is not surprising at all that it was put there. A junior of, at Catholic University told the Daily Signal. It is just another symptom of the liberalization and secularization of our campus. And that's what the work will do. See, there's no limit to being woke. There's no limit. Whatever you do, some other work person out there is going to think, hmm, I can top that. Hold my beer, like people say, right? <laughs> there are many students, faculty, and staff who are concerned about this, but there's nothing we can do, added the student, who asked to remain anonymous out of fear of rep reprisal from the university administration, and if we sound the alarm, we'll be labeled racist. Facts. If you do anything about that, I am pretty sure this is my opinion. Let me know what, you, what do you think you be called a racist, especially if you are white. If you remove that pin, that painting, they'll call you a racist. So we have um, we have a picture here, Mary, Mirror of Justice Chapel, and the George Floyd and Mary pictures is right here in the back. Kelly Lattimore's painting Mama on display outside the chapel at the Catholic University of America's Columbus School of Law. Wow. So we have a plaque here that says Mama by Kelly Lattimore Following the violent death of George Floyd on May 2020, Lattimore created the icon in June of that year. The image is uh, evocative of the Pieta, the mother of sorrows. May Mary the mirror of justice hear the cry of all who have known the sorrow of losing a loved one to violence and injustice okay that's what it says wow this is this is amazing so this black explained Lodimore's mama exhibited um at the columbus school of law hmm the Catholic University of America also released a report Friday, that was last Friday, examining the university culture and practice on matter of diversity and inclusion. Wow. That's what it is about. Diversity and inclusion. Who are you trying to include? The black people? Because that makes no sense to me. 
please explain that to me in the comment section if that makes sense to you. Inclusion. Jesus died for all of us. He is Jesus. You can't, you can't say Jesus can be somebody else, like the, the student also said. It makes no sense. He died, he died for all of us. Black, white, Hispanic, whatever your, your skin color is. Jesus died for all of us. So why would you try to change Jesus? Or I don't know what the inclusion here is about. It makes no sense to me. All right. The university which prides itself on its status as the potent pontifical university of the Catholic Church in the United States and the only institution of higher education founded by a Catholic bishop in the U.S. held a ceremony in March celebrating the unveiling of Latin more Mama. There was a ceremony. Right? Let's click on it. Here it is. Catholic law welcomed the iconography of Kelly Latimer's mama. Wow. They had a whole ceremony on that in March, like the student said at the beginning. Wow. With the conclusion of Catholic Law Black History Month program, which boasts an impressive list of events through the month of February, the Catholic Law community held an unveiling and blessing of a new icon for the law school Mary's Mural of Justice Chapel, the icon Kelly Latimer's mama was created following the death of George Floyd and is evocative of the Pieta, a mother mourning her son. Dean Stephen Payne opened the program, reciting Solidarity by Maya Angelou and reminding that all that diversity is a divine gift we should cherish. Yes, we are. We are all diverse. We know that. But anyway, this is big. This is, I am shocked. When I first watched this video, of course, I watched it before I talked about it. I had chills because George Floyd was not a good person. Right? Rest in peace. But he was not a good person. He was a criminal, a career click, a criminal. And it's amazing how they are trying to force George Floyd... Was Joshua even a, a Christian? I don't know. Did he? Uh, bro, I don't know. I don't know. This is a lot. And this is for me as a Christian and as a man, as a black man, this is wrong. This is a no-no. I do not agree with it. Uh, George Floyd was a criminal. Jesus was perfect. Jesus died on the cross for me, for my sin, for your sin. And... I don't know how the Catholic Church allows something like this. You let me know in the comment section. Wow, this is big. This is crazy. 